guys, we're going to give people another minute or two to get logged in before we get started. Um, if you're here for gymnastics specific conditioning, you do not need any props today. Just make sure that you have enough space to work with. But we'll give people a few more seconds before we get started so they can log in too. we will go ahead and get started. Like I said, make sure you have enough space to work in. Probably bring some water with you. Um, I will give a forewarning that I just did a team practice and then came to work here. So if I need some type of food in my mouth before I had to get started in here. So I'll either get sick or stop partway through the cardio. So anyways, we're going to get started with our cardio. If you've done any of the workouts with me, it's going to be set up just like our past cardios have. Three different exercises done for 30 seconds each, followed by a 30 second break. Repeat the whole thing three times. So, first cardio exercise that we're going to be doing is lunge together, lunge, but hopefully a little bit faster than that. Second cardio exercise uh, is jumps forward, back, side, side. So, you just, there's no specific pattern or anything. We're just jumping. So, forward, back, side, side, forward, back, side, side. Okay. That's for 30 seconds. The third and final one is just jumping jacks, regular jumping jacks up and down for 30 seconds. After we've done all three of those things, we will stop for a 30 second break and then we'll repeat that three times through. My disclaimer always is that other than these home workouts, I don't ever do cardio, so I will not be able to hold a conversation at the end of this cardio warm up. If you have any questions, make sure that you put them in the comments. I'm not very great at being able to check the comments as I'm doing this, but hopefully I will see it and I can get back to you. Um, and then as always, I have my timer down here and it's going to beep every 30 seconds. So if you hear a beep, it just means that we're done with that 30 second increment. Um, starting with our lunge together lunges. So I'm going to set my timer. We'll get started in two, one and go. Lunge together, lunge. Make sure you're keeping your chest up and going deep into your lunge but we're not resting on the floor in the middle. We're a little bit above. Halfway through. Five more seconds. And time. Switching into jumps. Forward, back, side, side. They don't have to be big. They're pretty small. Make sure you're punching through your toes. My heels are never hitting the floor. I'm using my toes to push. Five more seconds. Get ready for jumping jacks and go. Last one, we're almost through the first circuit. Well, we're surrounded the first circuit. I'm losing my hand back here. 15 more seconds. Keep going, you're almost there. Five. Time, 30 second break. I can try to fix my hair. Ooh, okay, so we're gonna do that whole thing two more times, and then we will move on to today's specific conditioning. I'm already almost out of breath. I need to work on this. Whew. Ten more seconds. Can I get my hair up fast enough? Whew. Five, three, and go. Lunge together. Lunge. I'm still gonna fall back out again. there. Five. 
time and jumps forward back side to side remember to push through your toes try not to bend your knees a whole lot and don't let your heels touch look at my hair again And jumping jacks, go. Halfway. Don't forget to breathe. Five. Where it is. One more round of our cardio and then we'll move on to our conditioning. Remember, as always, first of all, that I can't talk after cardio, but also everything is at your own pace. So if you can't go as fast as I'm going, or if you have better lungs than I do and you can go faster than me, feel free to move at your own pace. Just try not to stop until the 30 seconds are over. Okay, that was not much of a break for me. Ready? And go ahead and start again. Lunge, lunge. Keep on moving. Ten more seconds. Three. Halfway through, keep it up. Five. And jumping jacks, go. Remember to be pushing through your toes, not so much through your heels. It's going to help a lot with your tumbling. Ten more seconds. Five. And time. Woo, okay. And that is our warm up. Let me pause this timer. And check the comments. Hi, Chloe. And... Thanks, Victoria. I'm pretty sure Miranda Thomas has Victoria. Hey, you guys. I'm very out of breath. Okay. Whew. So, that cardio was a lot like, let me get lower. That cardio is a lot like how my other cardios have been set up, but the rest of the workout is not like how my other conditionings have been set up. So, whew. needs like to catch my breath. All right. So, we are working on fast switch or explosivity muscles today so that we can be exploding off of the floor if you're a chair or a gymnast um, the vault for gymnastics specifically anything where you have to tumble and get height we want that to be quick um, super fast movement but the fast twitch muscle um, some of you guys I've talked to about slow twitch versus fast twitch muscles you use different muscles for something like curling a heavy weight versus doing a back tap two different types of muscle fibers are used. So we're gonna be trying to activate, not the slow switch, but the fast switch today. Um, the problem is, the problem is I can't speak, but the second problem is that fast switch muscles um, get exhausted last. So you're gonna use up your slow twitch muscle fibers, and then once they're already tired, then you'll start engaging your fast twitch muscles, which is great for um, long-term, um, sorry, I just saw Stefan's comment. I'm not sure what you mean by the video that unpair. This should be just a live video that you should be able to just watch as I'm doing it or as you're as you need to. Um, sorry. So 
when we're tumbling, it's a good thing that you have to use up all of your energy reserves in your slow twitch muscles and then go into your fast twitch muscles so you're not dead by the time that you finish one tumbling class, right? Um, but when we're conditioning, the unfortunate news is that we have to do a lot of muscle exhausting stuff before we move into actually touching the fast twitch muscles that we were trying to get to first because we've got to wear out our slow twitch muscles and then we can start working our fast twitch muscles. So all of that is to tell you that this is not going to be fun. Okay, so the way that it's going to work is we're going to be doing some kind of a hold for some amount of time right into an explosive movement afterwards without taking a break. And then we'll do that three to five times, whatever number it is. So for example, there are, there are nine things, nine things that we're gonna be doing. The first one is we're gonna hold a squat hold for 10 seconds while I count. And then we're gonna go right into three long jumps and we're gonna repeat that five times. So, show you, you're gonna need some space in front of you. We're gonna get down to a squat hold, I'll count, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, And then we're gonna jump forward and then back and then forward and then back. We'll do that three times and then we'll repeat that whole thing five times. So we're exhausting the muscle by holding the squat and then exploding forward to get to that fast twitch muscle five times, okay? So like I said, this is going to be exhausting for your muscles, but that's how we know that we've actually engaged your fast twitch muscles and not just your slow twitch muscles. Um, if none of that makes sense, just trust me that I've done a lot of research on this and this is how we're going to be getting to our fast twitch muscles. Okay. Starting with what I just explained, so we're going to get ready for our squat, make sure that knees are turned out, and then also make sure you have enough room for you to jump forward after we've held the squat. Okay, ready? And down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and jump, and back. Jump, and back, jump, and back, that's one, we back down, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and jump, and back, make sure you're jumping as far forward as you can, without hitting a wall or anything, 2, and jump, 3, and back the hole, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, and jump, and back, jump, and back, jump, and back. That was three, back down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, tuck your booty, four, three, two, one, and jump, and back, jump, and back, jump, and back. Last one. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, chest up, booty under, 3, 2, 1, and jump, and back, jump, and back, jump, and back. Okay, now, you guys get a 30 second break. I'm going to explain exercise number two. So this one, probably going to need to move you down for this one. Okay, so this one is going to be in a push-up. We're going to be doing a three-second negative in our push-up. So the negative is always the opposite movement of what you normally do. So usually in a push-up, it's the up part that matters, right? We're going to go down for three seconds. That's our negative. One, two, three. That's your 30-second break, but I'm still talking. All right, and then after we've done that, we're going to go right into three fast push-ups. So it's going to be down, one, two, three, and then one, two, three. And then we'll repeat that five times. And then we will take a 30 second break. Your arms are probably going to be tired. Try your best to ignore them. They're going to tell you this is too much, we need to stop. Try to push a little bit past that point because remember we have to get our slow twitch muscles exhausted so that we can start working our actual fast twitch muscles. Okay, here we go. Everyone get in your push-up position. Remember that my shoulders are gonna be past my hands, not way back here, not even above them, but past our hands, back is round, booty is down. Ready? And down, three, two, one, up, one, two, three. That was one, down, three, two, one, up, one, 
two, three, down, three, two, one, up, one, two, three, two more, down, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, last one, down, one, two, three, up, one, two, three. Whew. Good, okay, moving on to exercise three. Oh, just kidding, you guys get a break. I'm gonna explain what exercise three is. You guys get a break. Okay, this one is pretty self-explanatory. If you are already one of our athletes, we're going to do a 10 second hollow hold into five fast V-ups. So we're holding here for 10 and then up quickly for five fast V-ups. Don't let your hands touch the floor. Don't let your feet touch the floor until we're totally done. Okay, got about 10 more seconds before we start. I lied, you have two more seconds. And go, hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, V ups, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're only doing three of these, so two. Ready, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, V ups, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Last one. Hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. V ups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Whew. Hopefully that one wasn't too bad. And we are already on exercise 4 out of 9. We're moving quickly. And I am still not catching my breath because that's how out of shape I am. Okay. This one is gonna be legs again, but we're gonna work our calves. These are really great for pushing. Anytime you're pushing off of your toes, you're engaging your calf muscles, and of course, in your tumbling, in your jumps, in your leaps, coming off the springboard, coming off the beam, pretty much everything except, most mostly bars doesn't use legs, but everything else in gymnastics, you need to be pushing off of your toes, so. I just use your whole 30 seconds to explain that without actually showing you the exercise, but it's going to be 10 calf raises. After we've hit 10, we're going to go up into a releve or a high tiptoe hold where the front of your foot is flat. We're going to count to 10 here, and then we're going to go right into 10 punches with straight legs. So if your legs are straight, that means you're not using your quads to push off the floor. You're using your calves by pushing off of your toes instead. Uh, and we're doing that five times. Okay, ready? And lift. 10, nine, oh wait, just kidding. I lied, calf raises are first. Calf raises, ready to go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and punch. Go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and back into our calf raises. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One punch, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And calf raises, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Punch, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, two more. Calf raises, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, 10, nine, eight, seven, high as you can, four, three, two, one. Punch, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last set, ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, one, and punch. Go ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. It's very hard to count that fast while you're jumping, just for the record. Okay, 30 second break while I explain our next exercise, number five. Um, we are going to do a three second half push up hold into three explosive push ups. So, oh, my calves are too sore to sit that way now. Um, I'm not going to ask you to do clapping push ups, but this is like the step that comes right before the clapping push up. Um, so if you're already a pro at clapping push-ups, you can go ahead and do those instead. But the rest of us, we're going to hold a push-up right here, halfway down. It's only three seconds. That's our 30-second break there. You guys are getting much longer than 30-second breaks because I take too long to talk. Right here for three seconds, and then we're going to explode off of the floor. So you're pushing away off of the floor. This is going to be good for your arms, but also for blocking. This is a good blocking drill for you where you're tumbling eventually too. And we are going to do that five times. Okay, ready? Halfway down and hold it. Three, two, one, push off the floor. Three, two, one, and hold it. Three, two, one, push. Three, two, one, three more. Hold three, two, one, push. Three, two, one, three, two, one, push. Three, two, one, you got this, last one, three, two, one, push, three, two, one, <sighs> all right, that was good, 30 second-ish break, while I explain exercise six, we are breezing right through this, we're going to be done soon, okay, so, we are going to go into a three second negative, again, it's the opposite of the movement, <sighs> I need to chill and talk a little bit, all right, three second negative of your tuck up. So where the normal tuck up is this movement, the negative is this way. So three, two, one, into 10 tuck ups. So we're back on abs. This is just like the hollow hold and tuck ups, or hollow hold and V ups, except this time we're doing tuck ups. Okay, that's 30 seconds. I am not getting enough breaks on this. Very out of breath, very sweaty, but here we go. Three second negative on the tuck release into 10 tuck ups. So ready? Down. Three, two, one. Tuck up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. By the way, we're doing three of these, not five, so don't get so scared about doing 50 tuck ups. It's just 30. Ready? And release. Three, two, one. Tuck up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Release. Three, two, one. Tuck up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> All right. We are already on exercise seven. Thirty second rest while I explain it. Um. Okay. This is going to be. Here, okay, guys. You have to come back up here. This is kind of like those football drills where they run in place and then do push-ups, but instead of push-ups, we're going to do high knee jumps. So we're doing five of these. We're going to do 10 seconds of fast feet. I'll probably count in my head rather than out loud because that would just be embarrassing. So 10 seconds of fast feet into three high knee tuck jumps. So I want your hands out in front of you and you're going to try to get your hands to your knees. No, sorry, opposite. Knees up to your hands three times. So 10 seconds of fast feet, three high knee jumps. We're doing that five times. Okay. And again, I'm going to count the 10 seconds in my head because counting to 10 while running five times, I'll probably pass out. Okay. Ready? And start. Fast feet. Three. And jump. Three, two, one. Fast feet. Go. Three, and go. One, two, three, run. Two, one, jump. Two, three, run. Jump. One, two, three, run. And jump. One, two, three. so much cardio for me. All right, back to arms. 
we are gonna do I need to catch my breath first. And you guys have to catch my breath here. Okay. Okay. Three second push up position hold. Nope, sorry. Ten second push up position hold. Nope, still have to cut my breath. Ten second push up hold. So you're not actually doing anything, we're just gonna hold it here. And then we're gonna go right into six picture push ups. I have not caught my breath yet. Okay. In a picture push up, you know how people go like this to do the corners of a picture? You're gonna do that, but with your whole hand, push up, push up. So this is really like three, if you count every other, but six total. So one, two, three, four, five, six. If you're one of my gymnasts, we usually count like every time that you're here is one, so it would be like one, two, three for picture push-ups, okay? So 10 second push-up hold into three or six of those, depending how you wanna count it. And then we're gonna do that only three times, not five. All right, here we go. 10 second push-up hold. I'm gonna count in my head so that I can get a quick break from talking because honestly, you guys, it's exhausting to talk while I'm doing this. Okay. Here we go, and up. Three, and go. Picture, and switch. And six, hold it. 10, make sure you're engaging your core. Three, and go, push ups. One, two, three, four, Five, six, last one, hold it. Three, and go. Whew. Okay, done with arms. Moving back to our core, we're actually gonna be using our, our lumbars. When I was a little kid, I called them back abs, if you feel them feels like how you have two rows of abs, but on your back, those are your lumbars. We use those anytime we arch or heel drive, and we're going to work those next. Um, and then also, we're gonna work those, and also the, like the backs of your shoulders up here, these muscles. So the first one we're gonna do is a 10 second arch hold. We all know that one. Here, holding and counting to 10. And then, you're gonna lay down flat. <sighs> I don't know how well you guys can really see me here. So my hands are like a football goal, right angles, boxes, squares, however you want to say it, here next to me. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. I just can't catch my breath. I'm going to lift up and pull them to there and then come back down, up and down. The important thing, though, is that your hands don't ever touch the floor. So they're still up in front of you. My feet go down after the arch hold. You don't have to keep holding those up. but. They're pulling up in an arch and back down. And when you're up at the top of the reacher row, you're trying to squeeze your shoulder blades together. So you'll feel those bones back here. You want to try to make them touch behind your back. Ten of those. Ten second arch hold, ten reacher rows. Repeating that five times, and then we are done for the day, which is pretty early, which is great because this has been a lot of working out for me today. Okay, going into our arch hold. Ready? And go. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Feet down and pull. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Squeeze your booty. Four, three. Feet together. Two, one. That's one. Four more. Ready? And lift. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and pull. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, squeeze, two, one. Back into our arch hold. Ready? My hair is so in my mouth right now. Ready and lift. Go. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one and pull. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's a good burn. Two more. Ready? And lift. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Feet together. Four, three, two, one. And pull. Go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one, and we are totally done, guys. I know it burns in your shoulders and your back, but we are almost done. Ready? And lift. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, feet together. 4, 3, 2, 1, and pull. Go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, that is it today for gymnastics specific conditioning. <sighs> that was our explosivity training. I know it seems silly that we were mostly holding things, sitting on the floor to train explosivity, but we're limited on equipment. And like I said, it's good for us to exhaust a muscle by holding it and then try to get some explosion out of it so that we're definitely working on our fast twitch muscles for our tumbling. All right, if you guys have any questions, you can put them in the comments and I can get back to them. Um, tomorrow is upper body day, I think. So I will see you guys back here tomorrow. Maybe not in this yellow room, but somewhere to do upper body tomorrow. See you guys then.